it's another castle. <laughs>
we've just finished our little private tour. Um, if you get a ticket to that, there's only like 15 people allowed to go. It's a half hour tour and you get to see the castle before it's open to the public, which is really, really cool. Um, it's at 11.15, ends around 11.45, and then around noon, the castle opens for everybody to go back in and go through. Um, we did that, it was really cool. We learned tons of information. Um, the castle was built in the, in the 1200s. It has changed hands 10,000 times. Uh, there's been a lot of warring. It's kind of near border-ish areas. Um, so lots and lots of history of this castle if you're interested to look it up. We're gonna go check out the dungeon and the other tower now and see what that's like. fun things about medieval castles is they had these things called murder holes. So if you would walk, somehow break through the front gate, you'd walk through. People would stand here with rocks and things and throw them down these holes on top of your head, as well as anything they could find, really. So rocks, and they'd shoot arrows, they would pour boiling things, everything, just to make it very inconvenient as you tried to get further into the castle. Murder holes. Nasty. This room contains the oldest decorative plasterwork in the castle. It dates from the 17th century and is the only decoration that was pre-Civil War here. There's a carving above the fireplace called the Justice, and that's why they think this is called the Justice Room, but they don't know if they used it as a courtroom or not. dark and it's very cold. <laughs> there are these little slits way high up in the wall that would have been your only source of light and there are three of them. Uh, it feels very bright in here from what you're seeing because there's a light on the wall and the camera makes it far brighter but it is pretty dark in here and without those lights it would have been very very dark.
We've just finished up in the castle. We're gonna give the gardens a quick tour. We're freezing, as you can see behind us. Plenty of people are enjoying a picnic on the grass. It makes me feel like a huge wimp, but we're gonna walk around until we get too cold to handle it, and then we're gonna go in and maybe get some uh, food in their cafe before we head out to our next place. We got a lot of lunch. It looks really good. It was very reasonably priced. Hopefully it's delicious. We're also eating in a castle, which is pretty cool. This was by far the best meal we've had yet on our trip here. And it was also super cheap. We each got um, like an entree. Uh, a pot of tea for two, we split a bowl of wedges, and we each got a piece of cake, and I think it was like, oh, and we got this, which I haven't opened yet, um, and I think it was like 24, 26 pounds, which is phenomenal, and it was delicious. So if you come to Church Castle, eat at the cafe, it's really, really good. Quick update, uh, we were supposed to leave the castle and then go do a aqueduct, which was going to be like a cool kind of boat ride thing, but unfortunately uh, I read the times wrong and we thought we had till 5, but we only have till 3. It's 3 o'clock now, so we're definitely not going to make it, so that's my bad. Lydia is currently looking to see if there's anything in the area that we can go to instead. Also, this is why it's a good idea to have a list of other things in the area in case something is closed for a holiday or you misread your times like we did. It's always kind of good to have an idea of other things around that you can do. So Lydia is literally looking at our list of other things to do, trying to find something that is opened. It's going to be kind of hard since it is a Sunday and it's actually the end of the Easter holiday for the UK. She's got the phone out and the GPS and the list. This is how you know that I really messed up. <laughs> because everything is closing within the next hour. And we told our hosts for the next cottage that we rented that we wouldn't be there till after six. Worst case scenario, we plug in their address, drive that way, pull over if something looks cool. See y'all, when I mess up, I mess up good. <laughs> I don't mess, I don't half, I don't half, half mess up. I mess up really, 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 really well. Like a major, major screw up. To the point where the aqueduct was the only other thing in this entire area that we're supposed to see. And now we're gonna have to drive, because it's really cool. It's really, really cool, we really wanna go. And now we're gonna have to drive all the way back out to this part of the country for only that and then probably not be able to see anything else that day because everything will be too far away. And our only chance is tomorrow because they're only open Thursdays through Mondays. I love you. You did good. <laughs>
so Lydia managed to find some gardens that we can go to. There's also a big house there. But we can't go into that because it closes at 3.30, the time that we will be arriving. Nailed it. But the gardens are open till 5, and the parkland is open until dusk, so we'll give it a whirl. We learned just now that the double D in Welsh makes a TH sound. Um, it is a really big state house that we can't go into because they closed at 3.30, but the gardens and grounds are open until five. Hopefully we'll get to like see the outside of the house. Maybe we'll kind of work our way over that way. Um, we're just gonna hang out here and enjoy the sunshine until they close. This is Earthic House. I have no idea what it looks like inside. This was kind of on our uh, plan B list. So we're coming around the front of the house and I think we're gonna go around the back to where all the big formal gardens are. And then if there's time, they said there's a bunch of trails and nature walks. So let's see what we can get to. Whoever lived here had an incredible view. I think that pretty much wraps up our little stay here at Earthig. We're walking back towards the car park uh, through this last little bit of the gardens. It's beautiful out here. 
I I I don't. We've always talked about this, but I've always said this. I feel like the the English gardens they do like a really cool thing where they like manipulate it to kind of suit the way they want it to look. Like with all the trees. With all the trees and stuff. The walls and but the... man, it's cool. It's beautiful. I know some people wouldn't like it, but I. It's so neat what they're able to like weave trees into other trees and mm -hmm. make them go the way they want. It's really cool. And then you have beautiful lanes like this one that's just a walk through the canopy and it's gorgeous and the birds are out and singing and there's a field back there with tons of little lambs in it and they're making a bunch of noise and it's just a really pretty place. Now that we're done here, we're going to head to our new Airbnb. I'm pretty sure they have a hot tub, and I'm very excited about that. <laughs> if they have a hot tub, y'all will definitely know about it. Oh, yes. Um, I also don't remember the name of the town that we're going to. I'll pop that in somewhere. Um, seems like a cute little place. I think we're there for like five nights, so. Yeah, we get we'll to unpack. Get, <laughs> yeah, get to settle in a little bit, which will be really nice. Um, that's pretty much it, really. We'll let y'all know when we get there. Another gorgeous day done. We just got to our new place. I think we're in Bedison Ross. I'll have to double check that. Um, but either way, this is the entrance. We've just met with the owner. He's super, super nice. We'll link this place in the description below if you want to check it out if you're ever in Wales. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm so excited that we're staying here for five nights. This is the outdoor patio area. It's beautiful. There's a table with a bunch of chairs if you want to eat outside. There's a hot tub just over there that we are definitely going to enjoy. The view is incredible and just the sounds of the wildlife is stunning. This is the way inside. I'm going to live in the conservatory. It is so warm in here with all the sun coming in. There's a nice comfy chair, a great place to have dinner or breakfast. Perfect entryway. This is the little living room. Got seating, a TV, an electric fireplace. You don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to light anything. You just click a button and it kicks on. That's really nice and convenient. Just on the other side of that is the little kitchen area. You've got a washer and dryer. There's a little fridge in here, electric stove and oven, all kinds of things up there. He was also nice enough to get us a half, well, I'm sure it's like, what, a pint? I don't know. I would call it a half gallon. There's milk in there. <laughs> He's nice enough to provide us with some milk to get started and some biscuits. Um, everything you need right here. Then just off the kitchen is the bathroom. It has a small shower, toilet, bathrobes for the hot tub. And then just next to that is the bedroom. Nice comfy bed. What more do you need? Good night. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> That's about it for the day. All we're going to do is run to the grocery store and get some food to stock this place up because since we're going to be here for quite a few days, I think four days, five nights, five nights, five nights. so six days, um, we're going to try as hard as we can to eat out of here to save a little bit of money. Uh, we'll probably still eat out because it's part of part of experiencing a place is eating the food because it kind of helps you get into the culture and all that stuff. But also... We need to save a little bit of money, so we're definitely going to eat here. We're going to try really, really hard at least. Um, that's it for the evening. Grocery shopping. Hot tub.